musings and other nonsense, whimsical stories, poems, and songs for children. Written and read by Peter G. Reynolds. That's me. Your support allows us to bring you quality stories each week. Please visit buymeacoffee.com slash musings to donate and help cover our production costs. This episode is called Mr. Stink. I have a best friend. His name's Mr. Stink. His smell is so bad, it can be hard to think. He's always beside me. It won't matter where. Except in the bathroom, he never goes there. He doesn't like soap. Shampoo makes him mad. Forget about toothpaste. He says it tastes bad. He only wears clothes with at least 14 stains. And it doesn't matter if someone complains. His hair is a mess, but he doesn't care. And don't get me started on his underwear. Now, you might wonder when Mr. Stink came to stay. Well, it happened, you see, on a rainy Monday. Sunday is bath time. That's when I get clean. Mother will force me, which I think is quite mean. But that week I lied, to avoid Mother's wrath, and just ran the water instead of taking a bath. Then sprinkled some water on top of my head, combed it all back, and jumped into bed. I awoke the next day and saw by the door a little boy who hadn't been there before. Hello, said the boy. My name's Mr. Stink. He patted my back and gave me a wink. I looked at him closely and thought, how can this be? Mr. Stink looked almost exactly like me. It was kind of like having a real smelly brother. I just had to hide him from father and mother. We played stinks and ladders at least twice a week. We played show and smell. We played hide and reek. But the most favorite game Mr. Stink liked to play was how we could both stay dirty that day. Turn your socks inside out, your underwear too, don't brush your teeth. He knew just what to do. Skip all baths and showers, the more times the better, and cover all stains in a big, bulky sweater. My smell got so bad, everyone stayed away, and even the dog would not come and play. My parents got angry. They could not comprehend why Mr. Stink was my very best friend. They asked, then they ordered, but I would not obey. Then finally they said, All right, that's okay. If you don't want to shower, if you don't want to scrub, if you refuse to spend any time in the tub, you'll be on your own, my sweet little dear. Your family won't be anywhere near. At first it was great to be on my own. There's no one to bug you when you're all alone. I watched what I wanted. I went to bed late and never, not once, had to finish my plate. But after a while, I started to miss my mother and father and brother and sis. Mr. Stink was great, don't get me wrong, but I think I'd been dirty for a little too long. So then I decided it was time to get clean. Mr. Stink was in shock. He thought it obscene. Don't do it, he said, his fear starting to show. I like being your friend. I don't want to go. But I ignored all his pleas and walked up to the sink, poured soap in my hand. Goodbye, Mr. Stink. And he faded from view as I scrubbed off the dirt. I felt kind of bad because his feelings were hurt. And in truth, I do miss him and all of his charms. Luckily, he's still with me, just under my arms. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please check out my picture book, Lost Hallway, now available on Amazon. It's a magical tale of a young boy who finds a world that contains all lost things. You can learn more at storiesbypeter.com. See you next time. <laughs>